juicy people of the world it is of course super juice me lockdown 2.0 whether you agree with lockdown or didn't agree with lockdown the fact is it is happening i'm talking about in england various parts of the world are on various degrees of tiered lockdown so there's two ways to go you could have gone the way that most people did during the first lockdown, all the good intentions of, well, I'm going to learn a language. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to get fit. That tended to go out the window, didn't it? Uh, most people turned to overeating. They turned to over drinking and over, I think they call it over Netflixing. This time, so many people have made a pledge and said, I'm not going to let that happen again. If you're taking part in the challenge, I laid down the gauntlet a couple of weeks ago because it didn't matter whether you're in lockdown or not. People just went, do you know what? You can't really go out properly. You can't do anything. The world's not turned to normal. So I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to get as healthy as I can. And some people have really risen the game. I've got a couple here, listen to this. If you're hearing about this for the first time, you still got about two weeks. You can do a half a super juice. I lay down the gauntlet to either do 14 days or 28 days to see monumental results. Got somebody here, Samantha Thomas. Listen very carefully. It's coming up on your screen now. I'm an elite super juicer, not just a super juicer, an elite super juicer. Today is day 29 of day 28. Little that tell us. That tells us, of course, Samantha, you completed the full 28 days. So obviously you started this pre block lockdown 2.0 and the plan is complete i'm so proud you should feel proud i've done it twice and it's never easy i don't care who you are it, it requires an enormous amount of focus to do the super juice me for 28 days listen to this dropped 22.5 pounds in weight within the 28 days eight centimeters lost off the hips and waist four centimeters from the chest i feel amazing now ready for my supercharged scrambled eggs that's from my super fast food book along the journey i've inspired other family members and friends who are now on the plan let's choose the world thanks jason for your inspiration look if you're just looking at this and you're a juice skeptic or you didn't join in or you're having too much wine at night or whatever just for the next two weeks even even just half a super juice me you have no idea how truly incredible you're going to feel at the end of I say just 14 days. It does take some dedication. We've got Claire Sharp here. Hello, Claire. Uh, originally set out to do 14 days, uh, but I'm on day 11 now, and I've decided I'm definitely going to extend it. You see, a lot of people don't think that, but once you're past day three, and particularly past day seven, you get momentum. Also, my clothes are looser. Well, they will be. My migraines have stopped. These are the stuff that happens. Uh, the niggly pain in my glutes have disappeared. I'm feeling happy and bouncy and oozing confidence. Who said juicing was bad for you? I beg to differ. I don't know. Do you know what? Somebody... There are a bunch of people that say that juicing's bad for you. To this day, as we film right now, do you know how many people have died of juicing? Yep, still none. <laughs> it's madness, right? Jana, day 18, feeling great, as always, when entering week three. So you've done it a few times. Louise Hughes, I'm on day 17 to 28. Uh, did the three-day juice plan first, so day 20 of juicing, and I'm feeling good. Sleeping so much better, too. Susan uh, Moyer, uh, day four, full of energy. Everybody's on different days. We started this on different days. Uh, Sabana, I can't remember. Started a uh, 14-day plan, going very well. This time, I allow withdrawal effects. That's what you get for the first three days. People call it detox, but it's actually withdrawal. Um, to come to the surface, energy is looking good. Teresa, uh, day six, in the USA, just outside Washington. Hello for everybody doing it in the USA. Uh, your juice recipes are very creative and delicious. Well, thank you very much. No reason to really do a juice challenge other than my love and fascination of juice. Uh, also doing the full juice academy. So better give me a shout out. Well, I have. I've got loads of these. We haven't got time because we are making a recipe from the plant. So even if you're not doing the challenge at all and you just want something, a standalone, something that combines so many different phytonutrients, but also macronutrients, micronutrients, because we're going to blend some avocado. Here's what you're going to need. This is called the Green Zesty Super Smoothie. It appears on day seven and on day 14, which is why I'm doing a lot of people starting on Monday. So this is Sunday uh, where most people will be watching this. Here's what you're going to need. A couple of pears, any kind, doesn't matter. The harder the pear, the better. The harder the fruit or veg, the more juice you're going to get. Rule of thumb. Fennel. Looks like a little bagpipe. It's got a little aniseed flavor to it. Gives it a little kick. You always need a kicker. I've also got half a lime as a kicker. If it's too zesty for you, peel it. That's fine. Small handful, a large handful of some fresh spinach is what you're going to need. Um, and you're going to need, well, it says half a courgette, but I found the biggest courgette in the world. So I've kind of used a quarter of this, kind of, you can gauge it. One celery stick and, of course, the piece de resistance, you're going to need some avocado. Avocados do not juice. They belong in your blender. So you're going to require your juicer and your blender. I am going cold-pressed, a bit like cold-pressed olive oil. The quality is always better. It keeps longer. If you're using a fast juicer, just make sure you drink it as close to making it as possible. So let's just crack on. What are we going to need? Apple. I would kick off with one pear going in, 
and then always feed something like the spinach directly afterwards. Now you won't see juice coming out yet because I'm allowing it to build up in the reservoir. That, that's key here when you've got a cold press juicer of this nature. I'm gonna put the lime in at this point because I wanna make sure we get all the juice going in. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this massive courgette just to feed, just to come in and feed behind it. And then the fennel, I'm gonna allow that to build up inside. Again, what have we got inside this bad boy? Sodium, potassium, phosphorus, manganese, magnesium. I mean, you almost name the mineral, it's gonna be inside. Stick the other pair in and watch this. As soon as we just open it up, we can look at this. We can see all this wonderful cold press juice. Now bear in mind, this is only from the plant. There's no artificial colors, there's no artificial flavors. We are dealing only with what nature has to offer. Always put the celery in last. If you've got one of these juicers, always put the celery in last because otherwise it kind of gets stuck. You can always use it as well as a little product. Now it should just juice itself. You should just put it in and it should just take it down. And that's what it's doing now. It's just kind of crunching it, masticating it, taking it down. So as our juice is just being made there, get every last drop out. We've got our blender here. Doesn't matter what kind of blender I've got the, uh, weirdly, I've got the Juice Master Super Blend. Who knew? And I've got the Juice Master Cold Press Juicer. Who knew? Half an avocado going in. This is quite a large one, but we want to make it like a meal. If you're only having blends, smoothies, juices over the period of 14 days or 28 days, then you want to make, make sure they're satiated. And you notice most of the time I make a thick one in the morning. And when I say a thick one, that requires some avocado. There's quite a lot going in. That's probably, you need to gauge it. All avocados are different sizes. You go to Papua New Guinea, they're the size of watermelons. So if you say half an avocado over there, you'll be eating it out of the blender. Um, I think it's hard to get, I'm gonna put about that much in. We still need, you can add ice to it if you want. It's entirely up to you. We're gonna then add the juice. Here's the key, you add the juice, always add liquid. So you add the juice, top on, and then we're gonna blend this bad boy for about, I'll give it 40 seconds. And as if by magic. It's about 40 seconds. If it's too thick for whatever reason, you put too much avocado because you were really hungry. <laughs> you thought I'd just put tons in. Um, the idea is it's got to be drinkable. So add, add more ice or just add a little bit more juice. I mean, this is really thick. I mean, you talk about a meal in a glass. That is exactly what you have. And because it's a meal in a glass, you need to sip it slowly, almost like a fine wine. Oh, see every time. What are we tasting in there? Well, you're not really tasting the cause yet because that's a little bit bitter, but you've got that lime. Never underestimate a little cheeky dose of lime. The fennel, not too overpowering. So if you don't like aniseed, don't worry too much. You've got the benefits um, that fennel has going in. But it's the avocado that adds that rich creaminess. And of course, pear we've used instead of apple. I don't know if you ever noticed, um, but you can't go pear bobbing, but you can go apple bobbing. I know, who knew? Because pears sink, apples float. That's because they're dense. They're more dense um, pears and they have more pectin, soluble fiber going in. So if you want to get things moving, then this green zesty super smoothie is for you. Day seven, day 14, if you are doing the lockdown 2.0 challenge, 14 days or 28 days, there's still time now. You can still go and grab the app, it's still reduced price, just do it. Even for seven days, 14 days, whatever the case is, come out the other side. Hopefully they'll kindly give us Christmas back. Um, anyway, let's not get into politics, because uh, I'll be here forever. All we need to know is you want to really do something to help your immune system and to help the NHS, get one of these bad boys down you, or do a plan like the Super Juice Me Challenge. Cheers, everyone. Well done, wherever you are in the world. See, I don't care about continuity, Alex. I'm just going to put that in there. That's how revel I, that's the revel.